Hey, my friends, are you fine? Today, Teacher Lu has a story to tell you from this collection here, Sea Force 4. It's a group of sea animals, yeah, that help people, help other animals. Let's see. The story is the ghost fish. It was a dark night. Sea Force 4 had just got back to base after a long day. You see, one, two, three, four, four sea animals. Suddenly, the clean phone rang. I'll get it, said Luna Lampfish. But it was too late. Zip Marley had already whizzed across and picked up the phone. Luna frowned. She never got to do anything. It was Charles Ray on the phone. Come quickly, he said. There is a ghost fish. It's scaring everyone on the reef. This was a job for Sea Force 4. They raced to the reef. When they got there, it was very dark. Blob's teeth were chattering. What's wrong? asked Zip. Are you cold? I'm scared, said Blob. Stay here and keep your light shining, Polly said to Luna. We'll split up and go and look for the ghost fish. Why can't I go too? Luna asked grumpily. We need you to stay here and shine your light. Then we can find our way back, Polly said. Luna was really fed up. Like this, like that, she grumbled. That's all you ever want me for. Zip, Polly, and Blob whizzed off together into the darkness. Suddenly, Luna saw a white thing swimming towards her. It was the ghost fish. She turned around, ready to swim away as fast as she could. Then she stopped. Mm. Now I can show them that I'm more than just a light, she thought. Hey, Luna shouted, ghost fish, over here! The ghost fish stopped for a moment. Then it began to swim towards her. Luna stayed where she was and took a deep breath. But as it came closer, Luna saw it wasn't a ghost fish at all. It was just a big white plastic bag, which must have been dropped into the sea. It was filled with little fish who were trapped in the plastic. They looked very frightened. Luna helped the little fish to escape. Thank you, they cried. We've been stuck in there for ages, they said. We tried to get help, but everyone was frightened and swam away from us. The little fish swam off, waving to Luna happily. Just then, Polly, Zip, and Blob came back. We couldn't find anything. Polly said, shivering, it's very dark out there. 
They came close to Luna's glow as she told them what had happened. We are so lucky to have you, Polly said. You are the bravest member of C Force 4 and the brightest, Blob added. So, asked Z, scratching his head, were the little fish in that bag because they were hiding from the ghost fish? Oh, Zip, sighed Blob, shaking his head. I'll tell you later. C Force 4 laughed together as they headed home. And then, my friends, what did you think about this story? Was it funny? Yeah? They were afraid of something. They thought it was a ghost, but in fact, it was just a plastic bag full of fish inside, right? So, it means that we can't pollute the water, we can't pollute the sea, we can't throw things in the water, okay? Yeah? All right, my friends, see you in the next story. Bye-bye.